there's the stud coming up. And we are exactly at the corner of the stud. I can see the metal in there. <sighs> really? Guys, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in Super. Look at this shit, huh? It's blue, it's sunny, it's hot. So, and I'm finally preparing everything for the installation of the aircon inside the battery and system room here. And I wanted to drill the hole in the wall, but I already saw the line down here at the floor where the stud is. And I said, oh, this is very, very close. And we are not even close, we are on the stud. So the original design was to have the pipe work and the cables and drain going inside the battery room, yeah, to the corner. And then here through the wall, coming out there somewhere, going this way all the way and then going to the outside where the outside unit of the air condition is. Well, and then we had the situation here with the cable runs, yeah? Well, I have to jump over the air condition conduit where all the pipework and cables are in with my cable duct here. It will be a pain in the ass and it looks shitty. So best is to go straight through the wall to the back side and come out here somewhere and have the conduit running here, outside corner, and then the same way to the outside wall. So there was a bit of a design change. So it didn't pay too much attention of the location of the studs, but this is now biting me back. <sighs> Nothing is ever easy. So that's how it looks like. We are exactly hitting the stud inside the wall. Removing this will be really ugly. When I put the jigsaw or something in here, it will cause a lot of vibrations on the wall. That'll do. So now I'm using this long drill bit here to go in an angle. So this would be straight, 90 degrees, and I'm going this way. Hey, you can see it. Yeah, so this angle, it's only a 50 mil ball and a bit um, downwards as well. I want to have a bit of a fall already to get rid of the drain. All right, so. All right, we are through. Easy. All the way, there it is. That's our point of exit. So here you can see that the hole is actually going in an angle. So this allows for... So this allows for a smoother bending of the cables going through this hole to the outside and then have a smooth bend again here on the outside as well. I've done the same over there. So it goes really, really smooth, no sharp corners. That should be fairly easy for the electrician to bend. So the original pipes from the air condition should end outside somewhere over here and then he can connect the other extender pipes and follow the path of the conduit. So this would be exactly straight, right? So this is exactly where the mark is at the wall and we go. So they recommend about 2% fall per meter. We've got only 800 mil here, so it should be around 16. And yeah, that is a bit too much. 16 is around here. That is f up. And then we would have that much fall. Cool. So this um, piece of duct is already mounted on the wall here. Uh, we've got studs here. One is over here, so I've used them. And the corner piece is also with four screws into the stud here in this corner. And I've marked the three holes here for this end cap. I just don't have any anchors anymore, so I need to wait for my wife to get back from the hardware store. But this is a later thing anyway, doesn't really matter. All right, so on this side here, I have just measured from the top of the blaster board all the way down to the middle of the duct, basically. And I use the same distance on the other side of the wall as well. So the duct actually follows the same angle as the roof. But um, on the other hand, we are coming very, very close to the door frame here. So I'm really thinking about going with a two millimeter drop from the corner all the way up here somewhere and then follow the roof line. Yeah, uh, just give me 10 minutes here. I'll think about it. I don't know, this looks shit, but I don't like the other solution either. All right, just to give you a perspective. So we're coming out with our pipes on the corner duct there with a 2% fall 
up to this cross and then follow the roof line. So we are further up and not as close to the corner of the door. Yeah, I think I like this idea better. Even we have a little bit of a kink there, a change of angle, but that's just what it is, right? And then we've got also the point where we leave the building and go to the outside. Somewhere there. And for this, we are using a tool we haven't used for a long time. What are you looking at? Here, the hydraulic hole punch. Wow. We have used this a lot when we built the battery shelf to punch in all the holes through the aluminum sheet. And now we use it again to punch a hole in the outside wall of the garage. Uh, we've got a 63 millimeter die. That should work. Yeah, this set was not cheap here. It was 260, 280 dollars or something. I bought it from eBay from a uh, crank motorsport. This is not an endorsement. This is just what it says on the box. But yeah, it's the perfect tool to make the perfect holes in all kind of material. Aluminium, steel, stainless, doesn't matter. Very strong pump and a very strong cylinder and super heavy. All right, let's get this um, on the way and start with this small one here to punch a hole and make room for the big one. Five millimeter. Oh. 11.5. Yep, that's it. I remember now, I especially bought this 11.5 millimeter drill bit for this hole punch. There it is. So, cutting die, washer, and the nut. Can we Come on. There you go. The washer usually can pull out the cylinder with a cutting die out this way, but now we've got the big washer on the other side. Okay, so I need to have the um, support timber here again. Hold it in place and we take everything off. It's a bit cumbersome alone, but with a second person, easy and quick job. Second person. Who could that be? So, one part of the bigger die is already mounted outside. This is the cutting part. Going in here carefully. Yeah, that'll it. Yeah, that'll be it. Alright, there we go. Here we go. And this time, oh, it's not all the way. Here we go. There we go. This time it comes out. I've got a beautiful and clean 63 millimeter hole in the garage wall. Holy shit. <laughs> so from here, we can go straight down. Nice. I'll uh, link this hole punch set here down under the video. Uh, it's probably a good idea to buy this on Amazon or even AliExpress. Because what I paid for this set here was a bit too much, I think. But I didn't want to wait four weeks or so until it comes from China. And they always come with a hand pump here, a cylinder and a whole set of dies. Different sizes you can choose from usually depending on your project and needs. Wow, there is a bit of a hole here. It actually looks like as if this one is falling the other way. And here we are still falling to the left. It looks weird. Okay, that is all the ducting inside the off-grid garage. That is all ready, good to go. So I'm putting some corner protection around this hole. So there are no sharp corners. All nice and beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
So now comes a bit of a tricky part. So for the electrical installation I have to get another conduit down there and shove it into the battery room and hopefully it pushes all the way through over there and then the cable can connect to the duct system over here and there's a 16 amp RCBO and the Sparky told me he's happy to use that for the air condition. Where do we have space? There's no space at all anymore. Shitty. Oh shit. Nah, I can't get through here. This is already plugged up. There's a big bolt holding these brackets together for the garage and there's no way to get over it. What is my plan B? Going down here, no, nah, not possible. Going through here, no, nah, not possible. Shit. Now I need a plan F. And... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Until the next screw. Oh man, ey, was in der verdammte Erbärme. Nee. Nee, das ist, das ist ja eine Sch. Hier mit dem verdammten Schrauben da hinten drin, als verdammt. It's an English Channel, right? So nobody cares. <laughs> Here it is! There was definitely the last conduit in this area down there. This is a total congestion because of this structure going in 45 degrees into the corner and it divides the whole space in two parts but this material is so thick it takes almost all the space it doesn't matter i've got it i leave the rest for the electrician then to connect everything and go down into the circuit breaker connect the aircon and stuff so so i've set the wall anchors for the outlet air conditioned duct outside corner air conditioned duct, another piece of air conditioned duct. It actually doesn't look too bad, right? Because this one up there looks almost straight, which it isn't, but almost. So it is not too bad. It is better than having this on an angle and cutting the corner here of the door almost. Anyway, hole is punched, outside outlet is mounted. So the next step would be to um, make a decision for the outside unit. But to install that, I need something which I still have to get. I'm so glad the hardware store is just around the corner. Very convenient. One, one over here, the other one next to it. That's where we come down. And that's where the unit will be sitting on. So, um, we need to make a decision if we cut this timber here for these um, concrete blocks, or if we just set them into the gravel as they are. No, they are not going to sit on the gravel here. I will remove the gravel and put some concrete underneath to put the concrete blocks on top of it. So concrete on concrete, basically, yeah. There's also a French train underneath here, all the way to over there. Yeah, we have to get the unit and see how it actually sits. But not today anymore, guys. It is already B o'clock. Look how low the sun already is. Guys, thank you very much for all your donations. Buying me a beer, a smoothie, a coffee or something. All your donations are very much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I think we see us tomorrow morning again and make a final decision, final call. Mix some concrete and put these blocks in their final position here to carry the outdoor unit of the air condition. All right, you have a wonderful good night's sleep and we see us again tomorrow morning. That's how it roughly will be. Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Yeah, I've removed the gravel so far from the garage. A little bit away and we can see the drain pipe down there. So the holes are only 470 millimeters apart. Yeah. And we've got the air condition coming down here.
Wow. Okay, let's have a quick look here at the... Um, ah, okay, well... The pipe work is coming from behind, basically. See, there's not much distance between where the hoses come out and where the unit sits. I mean, these are flexible copper pipes, right? Yeah, here the same, there's not much distance. Okay, that gives me a rough idea what they are working with. So, coming all the way down here... Ah, oh, this is where the entrance is. Over there. Yeah, let's move it a bit further this way, so it comes straight down. Oh, that's exciting! This was our first concrete project, right? And hopefully the last. <laughs> We've got two mounting points, one over here on the soil and one over here, which sits actually on the concrete foundation of the garage. And the same over here, a bit of space underneath here. We fill this up with gravel again. And this should give us a nice and strong foundation now for the air condition outside unit, which is actually not very heavy. It's, I think it's about 20 kilos or so. I put this here on the screen. All right, so this is all restored now. All the gravel is back, the timber is back. It's all cut in between. And this will be the new home for the air conditioning outside unit. Yeah, I'll leave this sitting there until the Sparky comes next week or the week after. I hope he comes before Christmas. It doesn't really matter. We have lived without an aircon for years now. A week earlier or later is fine. This is everything I can prepare for them to make it as easy and quick as possible. We've done all the ducting, all the holes are drilled and the base for the outside unit is ready. So that'll be amazing. Once this air condition is running in here, this will be my new home. <laughs> Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here. You are freaking amazing. Thank you very much for all your very generous donations. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Very, very good. Thank you very much. All right, my friends, until the next video, when we do something different, either we do the I don't know, JKBMS has got a new firmware, so maybe I tell you a bit about this new firmware. They're also a bit late with the feature we're all waiting for, because they promised to have the Wi-Fi upgrade ready in November. And November is already long gone, for over three days now. And uh, still no Wi-Fi. But yeah, I've also got some new toys there I want to show you. I thought it is time to upgrade some of our equipment because there's always something new to show, something exciting to share. So I guess until then guys, you stay charged, stay safe and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.